Well, it was a beautiful listing on uh, Craigslist. Unfortunately, it's not a beautiful van. Got all kinds of things coming apart, screwed together, falling down. If I were to make an offer on this van, it'd be between five and seven thousand dollars, and I don't want to get shot today, so I'm not going to make that offer. Windshield washer, fluids not connected. It's not connected properly over here. Lots of rust. And actually, I'm, now I'm looking at this closer. This windshield's already been reworked once. That is a replacement panel, not just Bondo. Evidence of mice. Radiator leak. More rust. Countertop is swollen beyond the Formica. Cabinet doors are swollen past the Formica. Everything is kind of oily and wet and gross and falling down. Oh yeah, look at that. It's wet here currently. So the uh, bed liner on the roof apparently is not doing the job. More wet. TV antenna tucked in here, strangely. Sirius radio stuck here, strangely. I'm not sure what's going on with this monitor. Besides the fact that it just dangles around, it looks like it's been melted or something. Cooktop has a little rust and a little grease. Drawer, mm. drawer latches are broken, so can't get in that drawer. And that one's off the track. The refrigerator's not too scary. Up here, it looks okay. Except for the radio rattles, apparently. Wood stick and some cardboard stuck in there. Yeah, too many issues. Hey, but look at that. The headliner's not all faded and yeah, it's a little bit water stained. Not as much as normal. More, really. Grossness in purple. Definitely has been some roof leaks from the inside. Uh, looking at it out here, I can't really tell. It's been Raptor lined or some other bed liner. I can see here where the, the paint has peeled off yeah. and they painted over it yeah. without sanding even. And same up here, I can see where the paint had peeled and flaked and they just painted over it. Didn't even sand it. Yeah, this, this is all crackling off here. So I, I guess that pretty much tells us what they did under, the, under there where the roof rust holes were. Yeah. Painted over it. Yeah. Didn't treat a thing, yeah. And the gutters as well. We were down the it's been down with a brush. They brushed the gutters on the inside. Definitely got water leaking in there, and probably there, certainly there, and is that chewing gum? Spider webs, 
spider webs on the brand new fuel filter fuel filter full of fuel on top so something's going on there aux water pump not spinning let's see what else we got lots and lots of oil down here evidence of a past leaky G EGR this EGR seems to be leaking a little bit but not horrific as far as codes, we've got boost codes, rail pressure codes, mass airflow sensor codes, glow plug codes galore. And of course, it's an OM612, so those glow plugs are a bear to replace. Allegedly. Lots and lots of spider webs. Original drive shaft, which is kind of surprising for a 2003 motorhome. Transmission's a little wet, not extreme. Brake lines are a little rusty. Uh, uh, foot wells aren't as good as I thought. Onboard generator is missing a door. Some plumbing's been removed there under the seat. Under the bed, rather. Exhaust is hanging on by a thread. And some hodgepodge, don't know what. Um. Rust on the rear bumper is normal. <clears throat> Heavy smell of propane down there by the generator. up here. Something screwed to the roof and painted over rust. Yeah, the mold smell isn't quite overwhelming, but it's pretty bad. My goodness. How's battery, water pump, furnace, charging, done the way RVs often are. Scary. Yeah. That's why this wasn't a top of the line RV when it was new, I don't believe. Because of stuff like that. Hey, and there's the alternator box for the brand new alternator that's on it. Even the drawer is just storage. Yeah, it's just storage.